Hey guys, just found this interesting TikToker I wanted to watch. Do a quick fit Let's check because and... my friend said we had to do pink for the Barbie movie. Um, I've got my Celine. I'm not really into Barbie. It's 7.30 p.m. on a Sunday. I'm 29, I live alone, and I do the same routine okay. every Cool. In today's episode of I Live Alone, I Work From Home, I Don't See People All Day. I just went on my walk to California Chicken Cafe just to feel something. I spent $15.99 just so that I could go outside and feel the sunshine. It's 8.30 p.m. on a Monday. I'm 29, I live alone, and I'm doing the same routine that I do every Monday. Well, I skipped okay. talking. It's 8.30 p.m. on a Tuesday. 20. It's 9.15 on a Tuesday. I'm 29. It's 10.30 a.m. on Wednesday. I'm 29, I live alone. It's 9.30 p.m. on a Thursday night. I'm 29, I live alone and I do the same routine. It's 6 p.m. on a Monday. I'm 29, I live alone and I do the same routine every- <laughs> You need to get it if they don't wanna love you the right way and go- It's 10.30 a.m. on a Thursday. I'm 29, I live alone, I work from home and I don't- In today's episode of I'm 29, I live alone, I work from home and I don't see- I'm 29, turning 30 next month and I've been thinking- It is 9.15 a.m. I'm having a shitty week. I'm 29. I it's 1 p.m. on a Wednesday. I have had a whirlwind of a week. I it's 7 p.m. on a Saturday night. I'm t I'm 29 turning 30. Everything's going. It's 11.30. It's 10.45 a.m. on a Saturday. I'm 29 and single and I don't have kids yet. Here's what your Saturday morning looks like when you're single at 29 and you don't have a kid running around the house. I didn't rise from my bed until 10.15. Every time I thought, I should probably get up and do something. I thought, why? Nobody's making me. I'm not missing out on anything. I went to Beyonce last night and I didn't get home until 1 a.m. And I danced and drank my little heart out and I didn't pay a babysitter to watch my kids as I did that. And I woke up a tad hungover this morning, which is probably why I was in bed for so long. And I was just scrolling on my phone and I saw a picture of shakshuka and I thought, you know what sounds really good? Maybe I'm gonna learn how to make shakshuka today. Cause I have no plans and I don't have kids and I don't have a husband and I don't have errands to run. I can go to the grocery store and learn how to make shakshuka. So that's on my agenda today. Also on my agenda, probably a rewatch of some Real Housewives of New York. I'm also doing a rewatch of Normal People on Hulu, which is really spicy and I highly recommend. Weirdly, I'm into this documentary on Netflix about blue zone countries. So I've got a pretty stacked day. Anyway, I say all this to say, whenever I'm hard on myself about why I'm not married and I don't have kids, Kids and I should be further along at 29, almost 30. I wouldn't want to do anything else this Saturday. And I know that you can do all these things when you have kids and you're married and I understand, but the effortlessness and ease of my life, just kind of focusing on myself and the shakshuka I want to make or the Beyonce concert I want to go to really pays off when I'm hard on myself for not being where society tells me I should be in life. It's 10.45 so a.m. So this on a individual here is... Miss P M D P O D P M D Pod. So I bet you're wondering to yourself, why am I even talking about it? Well, because a guy named Matt Walsh decided he wanted to say something. Hello, guys. My name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Very interesting stuff we got on going today. Now, don't you know I'm nosy? Just like Swell Entertainment, I'm nosy. So once I saw Matt put this up. Her life doesn't res revolve, revolve around her family and kids, so instead it revolves around TV shows and pop stars. Worst of all, she's too stupid to realize <laughs> how depressing this is. Here's my thing. Um, so I watched all, not all her videos, I watched about 15 to 20 of them when this whole thing started. So she broke up with the guy, and then, and then she got with another guy, broke up with him, and that's when this whole tirade of the... I'm 29, I'm single, I live alone, and I work from home, and I don't talk to that many people, which y'all didn't hear in this video, but she says that a lot. Let's go back a couple, okay? She'll say, Things I'm 29, going my I live way. alone, it's 7 and I work from home, and I don't see people I all day. I have had a whirlwind. Let's I'm go back. A, it is 9.15 a.m. on a Thursday. I am 29, I live alone, I work from home, and I don't see people all day. I can't tell you how many times I have to hear that. It's in my brain now. It's all I think about. I just think about how I'm 29, I'm alone, I work from home, and I don't see people all day. So, to be fair, when Matt made this video and he was talking about her, it, it, it may have seemed as if she was only um, just now talking about not having kids. But to be fair, I went pretty far back into her I've, videos I've about when she started. I have an anxious and, attachment. And so she's done kind of this kind of style of uh, videos for a while. I've been dating for 10 years. She'll say... 
I've been um, I've been dating online for ten years. I were, even worked at Tinder for six years. She used to do the same kind of I've style. I've been online dating for ten years. I even worked at Tinder for six. See, I've been online dating for ten years. I even worked at Tinder for six years. I'm super obsessed with all things dating. I even worked. Kind of woman we're dealing with. Now, I understand she didn't get that many people every now and then. She might get six to seven comments. Not a whole lot going on in her life. So I don't believe that she was doing this for attention. I'm going to be honest with you. I do think she's one of those people who kind of uses TikTok a little bit like a therapist because as you see, the worst as the videos go on, she got worse and worse and worse. And then she's like, I'm having a shitty week. I'm doing terrible. I just had a breakup. Things aren't going well. She started laying down a lot. It's this 10. is her ex boyfriend's <laughs> sweater. On a Monday. I'm 29. Listen I live alone and I do the same routine every night. I just got home from hot yoga and I put on the baggiest sweater I could find. This one happens to be my ex boyfriend. So, this woman's got a lot going on. So, why does she care so much about not having kids? To be fair, she only mentioned not having kids and not being married in the last maybe couple videos. All the videos I watched, she didn't mention that once. It was not until this last time, unfortunately for her, it wasn't until like these last two videos she mentioned that. And then unfortunately, Matt caught wind. And when Matt caught wind, he said that she was too stupid to realize how depressing it is. So my only defense of her will be that I don't think she's too stupid to realize she's doing. I think she is just trying to cope with the fact that she's not married at 30. Right. Based off of all her videos that I've watched. Right. And I have a couple Bookmark here. Sorry, guys. I just got done eating, so I'm trying not to <laughs> burp right in y'all's ear. I like Brittany Venti. Um, so I have a couple bookmarks explaining a little bit about her past. I have here. an anxious attachment style. My love language is go. words of affirmation. So when I am not hearing from the person that I am dating, I start to spiral. And that spiral looks like me finding reasons for why this relationship is not going to work out. And I feel shitty and I feel depressed. But here's what I have to remind myself. Them not communicating has no indication of your self-worth. And also, they don't know what you need unless you tell them what you need. And if that scares someone off, that's on them. And they're not your person. But life is seriously too short to be upset or depressed over someone not texting you. There are so many more things that you can go be happy about. Let me know if this resonates with you. I have to talk myself off the ledge all the time. I'm an You hear that? Overthinker, I can spiral. Remind yourself that you were amazing before you met this person and you're going to be amazing always. This is before the breakup, right? Before the her most recent breakup, which was about a week or two ago. And so she's now, what she just said, what is she going to do? She spirals. So she's spiraling. So when she made that video saying, hey, you know what? I don't, I'm getting to do all this because I don't have a husband and kids. She's been making videos that way, but she's not been consistent with that. She's not, she's not saying that. She's not trying to promote not having a husband and not having kids. She is trying to cope with the fact that she doesn't have a husband and kids. She says in a lot of her videos that I know at this point I thought I'd be married and I'd be with somebody, but I'm not. And so she's trying to say like, but I can still find ways to be happy. So she even mentions sometimes she tries to read books, but she can't because her attention span is too low because now she decides to go on TikTok and scroll for a couple hours, but she does try to read books. She even has a hard time even trying to focus on her work. She says she takes email breakies. You can go check her out yourself. I'm just saying that I do not believe that she was going out of her way to saying having a husband and kids was bad. What I do think was happening based off of what she keeps talking about is that she is trying to cope with the fact that she does not have these things. So after all of this went down, of course, she had to respond because, you know, she got an influx of followers and she got an influx of comments. All right. And here's because you can see she goes from getting about. 19,000 views on a TikTok video, which is equivalent to like 10 views on YouTube, to getting a million views on TikTok, which is like, you know, less on YouTube. So Hi, it's a my big name jump. is Julie. So let's go ahead and see her response. And I'm 29 and single. Yesterday, someone named Matt Walsh decided to repost a TikTok video that I posted to his 2.4 million followers on X, formerly known as Twitter. And the way that his followers bullied me in the comments, reached out to me on social media, threatened me, was honestly abhorrent. Some of his followers said that I was going to die alone. I should actually die and never leave my house. I should be sexually assaulted. I'm pathetic. I'm a whore. And that I was dead behind my eyes. Honestly, that one kind of made me laugh because I use Kosas concealer and I thought that it was working. No, but really, if you haven't watched the video, I suggest you 
you watch it. It's all about how I, a 29 year old single female, decided to spend my Saturday watching reality TV, learning how to cook shakshuka, and sleeping in until 10 a.m. These people were really, really, really riled up about my choices on a Saturday. But here's the thing about social media. While it can be a really crazy place, which I experienced yesterday, it's a place where there's content for everyone. Here's who I'm creating content for. I'm creating content for people who are taking their time creating the lives that they want for themselves. Because it's the life that- That part I have to immediately respond to. That is not what you're doing. I'm not for necessarily you being... I'm not necessarily on what Matt Walsh was on, right? And I normally agree with him. But I think he just kind of took it differently because he gets tired of hearing this, right? So I'm not even on like on him about it like that. But what I will say is that is not who you make content for. People who are taking their time, creating the... You're not taking your time. You were literally in a relationship two or three weeks ago and it didn't work out. So they're, So to act as if... And not only then, you made tons of videos from the breakup you had, what, nine to 10 months prior? No, not nine months prior. What, a year ago? At least something like that, a year plus ago? Because she made a video like in June or July, talk about she had a breakup nine months ago. And it was really hard on her. So you were 28 at some point, 27 to 28 in a serious relationship. You got in another relationship while you were 29 turning 30. So you are not making content for people who are trying to take their time. You are making content for those people who find themselves here at 29. You're making content for people who are now turning 29, about to be 30, and they don't have a husband, and they're not married, and they don't have kids. You know the clock is ticking, right? And I don't mean that in a bad way, but you're not even in a relationship now. And the way it makes you make it sound like you're going to take a year or two to get in a relationship. So if you're 32 years old, when you get in a relationship, yes, you can have a child, but it's going to keep getting harder and harder. And you have to hope when you get with this man that if you don't, let's say you get with the man and y'all don't have a baby for another two or three years because you don't want to because you want to keep living your life. Right. Which I don't think that's true. I think once again, she's coping. But let's say that's the concept. So now she's 35. Right. She's 35 years old trying to have a baby. Everybody knows that the older you get, the harder it is. I've met women. You've met women who had 35. I know women who had to go through two miscarriages. I know another woman, same age, had to go through two miscarriages. It was so complicated for them to have a child, and it was destroying them. I'm just saying that it gets harder to keep having a child. So the concept that you can just keep living your life until you're 36, 37, and then it all turns on, you can just turn it on and have five kids. It's not going to happen, right? Of course, there are exceptions to the rule, but the rule will say the older you get, the harder it gets to have a kid. The more likely you are to have either genetic defects or you're going to have um, miscarriages, right? It just happens, okay? And that is, it is gut-wrenching for that to happen to women, right? So for you to say that you're making this for people who are taking their time, I can say Based off your videos that I had to get through in here, time after time after time, I'm 21, I, I, I'm 29, turning 30, I live alone, I work from home, and I don't see people all day. And before that, you were talking about dating. You were on there saying, I've been online dating for 10 years, I even worked for Tinder for six years, right? You yourself have been on dating apps for 10 years trying to find somebody. You have been unsuccessful. You have no choice but at this point to cope with that fact. So I completely disagree with what you're saying about I make this for people who are trying to slow down. No, ma'am. You could not get a man at this point for whatever reason. It didn't work out. It happens in life. But you're now trying to cope with it. And now... I think you should say that because you said it in your other videos. But for some reason, now that Matt Walsh saw it and you got some notoriety, you totally changed everything. This childless millennial, childless by choice. You were not putting that in your videos before. But the second you got a little notoriety and Matt Walsh put the eyes on you, now you're trying to stand up like you wanted to be childless. When I just saw you make a video a couple months ago saying that you wanted a kid by this time, but it didn't happen, don't sit there and lie. Do not sit there and lie because now you got the eyes on you. Be who you are. You are a woman who's coping with the fact that you're not married and that's okay. I cope with the same thing when I, well, I know I was actually married before 30, but still, I knew I was getting older, but I'm also a man. It's different for me. Financially, my life doesn't really hit a stride until a little bit later. But nonetheless, 
I'm just a saying. Don't sit here and try to flip the script. Lives that they want for themselves. Because it's the life that they want, not something that society has deemed correct. People who are feeling anxious in life because they haven't met their person yet or started a family aren't rushing or That's settling to meet you. someone because some internet troll is telling them. You said, see, oh my gosh. Family aren't rushing or settling to meet someone because some internet troll is telling me. Hold on, let me hear that part it's the again. life that they want, not something that society has deemed correct. People who are feeling anxious in life because they haven't met their person yet or started a family aren't rushing or settling to meet someone because... How I'm can you feel anxious, anxious about not starting a family, but also in the same breath say, I make videos for people who are anxious about not having a family, which you just said, which we saw earlier. You said yourself that you would spiral and you are spiraling at this moment, right? Because you're realizing this stuff, Okay. So you say you make videos for people who are um, anxious about not having this stuff, but want to live their life. Why would you be anxious about not having a kid and be anxious about not um, having a family and then also say, I just want to live my life? You know what I'm saying? If you're being anxious about it, it means it's something you really want. It's just you can't get it. You're, you're, you're trying to make up for stuff like I. everybody gets anxious about something. Right. I get anxious about. Well, at this moment, I'm not too anxious about a whole lot. But at some points in my life, I was anxious. Like, man, I wish I could have this kind of money. I wish I could have this kind of money. Or I could have this kind of life or this kind of family. But at the same time, it wasn't like I was saying, man, I'm getting anxious because I'm not making this much money. But I also want to go live in my van. It's like that's complete opposite. I'm anxious about not making enough money. But I also want to go live in my van. It's just like, to me, it's just like, well, one of those is the reason you're not making any money. You want to go live in your van. So you're going to do things that will make you live in your van. Internet troll is telling them that they're going to die alone. And you know what? There's a 40 to 50% divorce rate in the U.S. And I believe that figuring out who you are first and foremost and meeting your partner at that point is going to decrease that divorce rate. And if you're no, 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 no. Divorces do happen, right? And we've been hearing that 40 guys, we've been hearing the divorce rate is 50 percent since we were what kids. I'm sure you heard that in kindergarten. If you go to church, you've been hearing that in your church every day of your life for the last 30 to 40 years. Don't lie. I've been hearing that statistic for almost 40 years hearing. Oh, man, it's 50 percent. 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 And I hear the same. I hear all the excuses. I hear all the different arguments. And now you're saying. It's because people don't know it themselves well enough. They should wait till they get older. I am almost guaranteed you're probably more likely to get divorced later. If you wait until you're 32 to get in a relationship after all the men, all the women you passed up, it's going to be tougher because you're going to be so stubborn. You're going to be so used to, oh, I'm, I got it all. I used to go. I used to go to Paris. I used to go to the beach. I used to do this. I used to do that. And then you get in a relationship with that same mindset of thinking you need to know who you are. It's going to you're going to have a hard time getting past that because too many people focus so much on trying to be who they are, learn who they are, come into themselves. It's just like, dude, when you get married, it's, that's all going to change that, out the window. Right. I understand young couples fail, but it's not because they didn't know who they were. So you're pretty much you were saying you might as well just wait till you're 45 to get married. because I'm sure you'll know yourself at the best by that time. The older you get, the more you know yourself. But that doesn't mean you should wait till you're 60. Right lucky enough to have the family and friends and support that i do none of us are going to die alone and i believe that wait, whoa, 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 whoa. okay maybe she's talking about the followers because her friends she says she goes to baby showers she goes to wedding showers she goes to showers all the time on the weekend her friends as far as she said are married and having babies so of course they're not worried about that as far as i heard she's the one who's single and just now moved to a new city we're all going to meet our people and we're going to do it living life by our own terms. Life's too short to be living life, figuring out what Matt Walsh wants us to do or what some internet troll behind their keyboard is saying. If anyone is wondering, the shakshuk I made was delicious and I'd love to share the recipe if anyone's interested. Yeah, that little recipe she made the other day. Um, and nobody really, to be honest with you, you're taking it. Listen, I understand what Matt says. And you, listen, if that happened to me, I'm not going to sit here and lie. If I woke up tomorrow and I saw my sub count go from, um, what is it, 1,400. If I saw my sub count go from 1,400 to 30,000, and then people are just spamming me and being like, you're stupid because you think this about this person and this you're dumb and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, I, I got to respond. So I'm not against her responding. 
What I am against is her not standing on what she believed at this point. Because it's ten forty. She was not it's doing all that. Everything. She I'm, just now a, started that hashtag of childish by choice, childless millennial. She that she just made this video. She's acting as if she's been talking like this, but she wasn't. You can uh, see. I'm twenty. It's All she kept putting in her little I'm thing was singling in 30 next month, up, and I just up, got out of a relationship. 30 and she just got out of a relationship. Breakup vibes. I have had manifesting your dreams, singling your thirties, living alone. She wasn't I'm, putting childless in there. Look at all these. You can slow it down, but I'm looking at all these. At no point did she put childless by choice. She just got out of a relationship. So to say that she was acting like that before is just not true. She was not talking about it like that. So she switched and flipped the whip. I mean, flipped the whip. Flipped. The, she flipped the whip. You know. I'm just saying. At some point, what I think is going to happen to her now is she's going to go off of this. Her next few videos are going to be. I don't. I don't want to have a child. I'm living life. I'm 30 years old. Look at me. I'm in. I'm, I guarantee you, she's about to go on vacation here in the next couple of weeks now to make it seem like her life is grand and amazing. So she can be. Oh, I'm in Paris. I'm living it up. I'm, oh, I'm at the beach. Look at me right here in my bikini with my nice body. No kids running around. I'm living it up. Just another Chelsea Handler. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, that's my talk on it. I don't think that she was trying to go for that. But once Matt finally, <laughs> Matt put them eyes on you and Matt's got a big following and your, subs and your follower account go up and you got a thousand comments when you're used to getting maybe six at the most. Yeah, that's the problem with the social media sometimes is people don't know how to handle that many people coming in. So they change it up. Trust me on this one. And I want y'all to be on my butt cheeks if this ever happens. If I ever wake up one day, one morning, and I go, I have 10x as many followers as I have now, and people are on me saying, oh, you don't believe in this, or you're a transphobe, or any of that, if I don't stand on what I said before, y'all can eat me up then. Go ahead, but I guarantee you, I'll hop right back on here and be like, yeah, I said it. I may clarify some things. You know, that's the hard part. It's like you would have to go back and watch all my videos because there's no way you can watch one video of mine and go, that is his opinion. It won't change. You know, that's his opinion. That's all it is. Like I made too many videos for you to judge me on one. You got to go watch all 705. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> you can make your opinion. That's fine. And I'll clarify. But you you're not going to see me flip no script. I'm not going to be like, well, actually, um, I do believe that you can be whatever you. No, no, that ain't changing because at the end of the day. My morals do not depend on what people say, okay? I will correct myself if I make a mistake or if I learn something new. But the base baby is made out of cement. The base baby is not made out of wood. It's not made out of sand. It's not made out of water. It's made out of cement, okay? That nice, good, gray foundation, okay? I'm gone.